All right, Ben Littlefield at you right now, and we're going to talk about digital landlording, the big opportunity, what it is, what it's about. Well, look at this beautiful picture right here, okay? You might have seen this example before. Maybe it's the first time you've seen it, but this is it in a nutshell, in a screenshot, okay? Uh, we've got a mini money site, what we call it, you know, our, our mini money site, which is like a three to five page little site that we can start using to send all of our results into and then we've got all of our ancillary pages and look it's all about this pick a solid niche okay we've got lots of examples here but here's the categories we love health legal professional home services look health that's all your medical stuff like the example you see right here cosmetic surgery could be chiropractic it could be very specific to us to a certain type of condition or ailment anything you want legal or professional that can be a dui or dwi attorney a traffic ticket lawyer it could be a an ip protection attorney it could be a bankruptcy law expert so on and so forth home services and you know air conditioning repair garage door repair carpeting flooring kitchen remodeling, you name it. I mean, there's thousands, okay? I mean, the, if you go with one of these solid niches, there's money in them hills, right? Now, once you've done that, you build an asset, okay? We, we've talked about this, a mini money site, all right? Look, you can see examples right there, mini money site. We love using Sparks here to do this. And then you that asset is also, part of it is also having multiple ancillary properties or ancillary however you like to pronounce it right properties and that could be you know your your ammo love it could be videos on youtube it can be you know articles on medium our whole google love and or love bomb strategy it, it covers that right now that's how you monopolize obviously now you, you you get these up there you rank it on google dominate pages with high intent keywords and then you rent it to a business that's it that's landlording. I mean, it's it, think of it exactly the same as physical landlord opportunity, right? Being a physical real estate landlord where you buy a property, you get it for a great price, okay? Maybe you have really good uh, credit, you know, financing options on it, and then you lease it for more than what it costs you to cover it, right? And that's your cash flow. Well, the digital landlording, same thing, except your real cost is about 10 bucks a year for uh, for a domain name and very little to be able to host that, especially when you have Sparks, you know, it scales just to the moon, right? Now, you want to get about $500,000 plus per month. That's that's a good going rate. We, we always like to talk about $750 a month being kind of our baseline measurement, just so we have a good little, you know, measuring stick, right? Now, let's, let's really get into this opportunity even further and understand a core philosophy that differs from being an SEO agency, all right, or being a traditional lead gen agency. This is where it gets a little different. And this is really important to understand because you really need to understand why businesses would want something like this. Well, they want to maximize all opportunities possible to get in front of prospects. Look, if you're if you're covering a whole slew of keywords with high intent. I mean, you're blanketing it. It's a, it's a carpet bomb, right? And you're covering that. It's a matter of, hey, these are high intent searches. When someone does search this, it's not a matter of how many times it's searched a day or whatever. It's really when, because it will happen. When it happens, do you want to be the one to get the benefit from it? Do you want to be the one that cannot be missed, right? That's it. Maximize your opportunity to get in front of those prospects, those valuable prospects. And it's, there's also a little bit of vanity and prestige here. You know, just having your company being represented and showing up everywhere is huge for a lot of these businesses. It's a competitive takeaway that you have here is that, look, I hold this. I possess this. You can have this to use against your competition. Or your competition can have this to use against you. I mean, that's huge. That's a big power that you hold in your hands. And really, you need to understand the right niches will look like this, where it doesn't take a ton of deals to, to more than cover any cost or investment in paying you $750 a month on average, right? That's what we're aiming for. And using an example we've used before with a swimming pool builder, right? A swimming pool costs... You know, at least thirty to fifty thousand dollars. I mean, that's that's a pretty pretty good valid price point right there. Now, one swimming pool. You know, do you think you know one pool builder lands one swimming pool deal this next year, 
and you think they're going to be cranky about paying $750 or even $1,000 a month in exchange for that $30,000 deal? You know, would they be cranky about trading essentially $12,000 for the whole year for over $30,000? No, of course not. That is the importance of a solid niche. So with those fundamentals, understanding Digital Landlording 101, we're ready to rock. So when you're ready, let's proceed.